So I figured first off, I would explain why I haven't been putting any videos out. I actually recorded several videos and I just haven't edited them because... Oh hey, my little doggy wants to say hi. Hello Tucker. Hello Willie. I haven't done any editing because, um, well, let's just be honest, I was extremely depressed and uh, I just didn't care. So, uh, it was hard enough to even get myself to get out of bed and go to work, much less uh, do some editing. So, I'm feeling better today, so I decided I'd, you know, go for a motorcycle ride, which I did not record. And then I'm going to mow the grass. And then I'm going to make dinner and then edit this video. So, that's the plan. Why is my ABS light on? I'm gonna stop here in this parking lot, shut it off and restart it and see if the ABS light goes off. See if the ABS light goes off when I get moving like it should. No. I have no idea why it's up with the ABS. Oh well, I'll try not to worry about that too much at the moment. I'll just carry on and I'll worry about that later. So. One of my goals here, I'm, I'm heading to the post office to, to drop off some Etsy stuff that I sold. I've got an Etsy store. I'll put the link down below. But yeah, I've got an Etsy store. I make weld stuff. I sell it. And uh, also, there must be a Jeep thing going on. And also, I gotta, I'm going to run into the bookstore, if they're still open. Hopefully they are. I'm going to run to the bookstore and get a, uh, try to get a guided journal. I've been journaling my entire life, pretty much. I decided I want to get a guided journal and try that. I'm not getting rid of my regular journal, but I want to do some guided journal as well. I have some family members that are very much not perfect, but they, ex they judge other family members for not being perfect any family member that doesn't outwardly look like they're doing super well like they don't have a fan nice fancy house a prestigious job and whatnot uh, they consider them to be trash humans yeah, there's an indian they consider them to be trash humans and that's a very uncharitable opinion of people i mean we shouldn't judge each other based on the kind of jobs we have and stuff like that you can be self-actualized without having a prestigious job you can be per you live a perfectly happy life i don't get why some people think that they get to judge other people and say well you're not living the way that i think you should live and therefore your life isn't worth living you have you're worthless and you know and that i think that's part of the reason why there's so many mental health problems in this in this uh, world everybody wants to destroy everybody else's end well not everybody but a lot of people wants to destroy every people's end and i don't understand that we should just be happy that other people are happy if somebody's happy be happy for them if they're not living the way you like but they're happy with their life well good good for them live the you live your life the way you want i definitely have family members who think i'm wasting my life they think well you know that it's undisputed that i'm smart I'm, uh, you know, I, I do really, did really well on the ACT. I aced the ASVAP test when I joined the Navy. I score extremely high on IQ test. So, but they say that I'm wasting my potential. I, 
dropped out of college my senior year because I was going through a divorce and I just never went back. The thought of going back to college causes me great anxiety at this point so I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, but I really think I'm wasting my life because I'm working as a forklift driver. Uh, but you know what? It's a fairly low stress job. And sometimes sometimes having low stress is more important than being prestigious. Take this off so nobody steals it. <laughs> I think this is, I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong with the ABS. It's definitely not going back on this time. Okay, now back to my regularly scheduled rant. So anyhow, they have a, say I, I have a lot of family members that are extremely judgmental. They have a really narrow opinion of what success is. And it doesn't matter how happy somebody is with their life, if they don't meet this narrow definition of what they themselves think is success, then anyone that doesn't meet that definition is considered to be lesser, not, not important, uh, trash humans, all those kind of things. And, and I really don't get that. I mean, I have, um, it's, I've suffered from anxiety and depression my entire life. And having people treat me that way definitely does not help. I mean, when I was, people say that sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Well, I've determined that that is horseshit. I was, uh, my father was really mean. I was abused as a child and I might have some scars, some physical scars, but they don't bother me. But you know what bothers me more than any of the physical abuse I've ever had? Is when I was seven years old, my father told me that I was a disappointment, that I was always a disappointment, that I will always be a disappointment, that he wished he hadn't had me, and that he would never love me and never could love me. That messed me up. Words have, words can hurt. I mean, uh, also, you know, I, my father was a, was a minister and uh, he told me as a kid that I couldn't be saved because I have red hair. He told me that God didn't love me, that God was ashamed of me. That kind of stuff is, sticks with me. I just looked it up. Google it. A lot of times if the ABS light doesn't go off, a lot of times the problem is that the uh, speed sensors are dirty. So I'm gonna try to check that. See every time, that's the thing too. Every time the, every time the, it's failed, uh, like three or four times now I've started it and the ABS lights come on it's given different numbers down here the spin number and the FMI number have been different and so I, I don't know it, it either I'm, I'm thinking either the sensors dirty or the sensors bad because either way it's not communicating properly I'll have to check that out but that, anyhow uh, I really like to journal and I picked up a couple of journals even though I've got plenty of journals I picked up a couple of journals here at the bookstore and uh, yeah I picked up a couple journals at the bookstore uh, writing in journals it's it's therapeutic it, it doesn't completely get rid of the need for talking to a professional if you need it but uh, writing in journal helps keep me from spouting off too much unwanted baggage to other people who don't care 
and face it, nobody really cares. It not not unless uh, my wife she cares, I guess. But I mean, well, she definitely cares. But I don't expect my wife to be a therapist, and I don't want to just unload all of my thoughts on her all the time. And I do more than I should, but I try not to. And journaling definitely helps me to vent so that I can uh, say what I need to say and work through things without unduly burdening other people so um, I actually I have a I made a video about journaling on my other YouTube channel the one that's not about motorcycles so you can check that out in the card here if you want to see that so a few days ago when I went to work everything was working great on my bike but then the following morning when I go to start my bike, the uh, ABS light comes on like normal, but then when I uh, take off, the ABS light didn't go off like it usually does. So um, I had pulled over and I, you know, a code came up. So I pulled over and I shut it off and then restarted it. The code went away, ABS light went off, then it came right back on with a different code. And then, uh, but the uh, I still had the odometer and it worked fine well then yesterday evening when I started it up to go to work the uh, there was a check engine light and the odometer didn't work because it lost uh, the rear wheel sense the rear uh, wheel speed sensor and then so when I started up this morning there was no check engine light the ABS light was on but I had speedometer so I think there's probably a snowball's chance in hell that this will actually work, but I'm going to go ahead and unhook the battery, leave it unhooked while I'm sleeping, and then hopefully when I hook the battery back up when I go to work, everything will work fine. I don't think it will, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so I've got the battery unhooked. I'm not going to put the seat and the, and the tour pack and all that stuff back on it until after I um, hook the battery up when I wake up. So now I'm just going to put all, stick all this stuff in my shed for now so it doesn't get stolen, throw the tarp over the bike, and uh, eat something and go to bed. <laughs> Well, it's time I take care of this and uh, put my bike back together and see if this actually fixed it. It has been uh, more than a day. It's been pretty much two days because uh, when I woke up, I was going to put my hook my battery back up and everything. But my phone decided that it wanted to be a jerk and none of the sounds worked. So I woke up just in time to get to work uh, actually I was a little bit late I woke up and I'm like oh no it's about time to go I usually get up several hours before work but oh man I was uh, yeah, I don't know and then I tried to call and let my boss know I was gonna be a little bit late but the phone my phone wouldn't even dial out so I had to restart my phone and everything so I don't know what was up with that but anyhow uh, I'm gonna hook up the battery now and see if that fixed it Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so let's see if I start it, make sure there's no engine lights on, and then if not, then I will I go get some boots and my helmet and I'll take it for a ride and make sure that ABS lights off. It's not gonna be that easy, but we'll try. Well, that definitely didn't fix it, so I need to still take it into the dealer. That sucks. <laughs> 